I'm back. Rodriguez for the Black and White Network. Well, the other day I did a video about Nick Salmon. You remember the youngster that nailed all these media sources with lawsuits over his quote-unquote confrontation between him and a Native American while he was wearing a MAGA hat. Well, we found out that was, of course, a bunch of made-up media nonsense. They took a lot of narratives. They ran with it. It really damaged this young man's life. And he is nailing these media entities with these lawsuits, and he's winning them. Well, another young man has been affected in much the same way. A kid that just got ruled not guilty on all charges, ruled self-defense up in Kenosha, Washington, where, of course, we're talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. And many have wondered, look, the mainstream media did a lot of damage here to Kyle, a lot with their fake narratives, talking about him being a white supremacist. I mean, going on TV, blatantly calling him a murderer, like he shot people in cold blood, so much not being made about the criminal backgrounds of the people that he had the confrontations with. Again, confrontations he did not start. He was out there to simply help people, and he defended himself. And, uh, of course, the mainstream media went on full, unadulterated assault and look, Kyle should have never been charged. He shouldn't have. But because of media narratives, that prosecutor jumped out there and decided to launch these charges against Kyle. This case should have never went to trial. It should have never happened. But it did. And just like the assaults on Donald Trump for the last five years, Kyle also was victim of the same kind of thing from the mainstream media. Well... Kyle Rittenhouse is now hinting very heavily that it's about time he goes after these media companies that did him so much harm. And, of course, we're finding out. You know, he can't even go to college. can't even go to Arizona State uh, from all the harassment he's getting. Kyle Rittenhouse, this is the blaze. Kyle Rittenhouse hinted Monday that, quote, accountability is coming for the media organizations that he believes defamed or slandered him as a racist white supremacist. Bravo, you got to nail them. These people, like Kyle and like Nicholas, people have got to start holding these media organizations accountable. And the only way to do that is nail them deeply into their pocketbooks. Rittenhouse, who last month was acquitted on charges that included first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder, was portrayed as a white supremacist vigilante by the media and politicians. It's unbelievable. The Joy Reads of the world, MSNBC, all their morning shows, The Morning Joe, CNN, Don Lemon, Chris Cuomo at the time before he got his ass run off. They were all gunning for Kyle. In reality, as a jury of his peers agreed, Rittenhouse was justified in using self-defense during the Kenosha riots in the summer of 2020. What are the details? While speaking at Turning Point USA event in Arizona, Kyle Rittenhouse was asked if he plans to, quote, sue some media companies anytime soon. The 18-year-old responded in the affirmative. Some accountability is coming. I'd be on the lookout. Accountability is coming, Rittenhouse said. Rittenhouse also confirmed that he discussed the topic with Nicholas Salmon, who sued numerous media companies over their disparaging portrayal of him following an incident with a Native American at the Lincoln Mon Monument in 2019. Sandman has now settled lawsuits with NBC News, CNN, and the Washington Post, though the monetary terms of the settlements have not been publicized. My turn may be next, Rittenhouse said on Monday. So what do the le legal experts actually believe? After his acquittal, support erupted for Rittenhouse to sue media corporations and politicians that allegedly defamed him. Supporters said President Joe Biden should be the first person held accountable. That's right. That is absolutely right. Biden, when he was a candidate for the president, lumped Rittenhouse into a denouncement of white supremacy. By the way, there was an anti-Trump ad that was running on behalf of Joe Biden out there, talking about white supremacy. Of course, they threw the Proud Boys in there. They threw Patriots in there. Let's just be real. They just threw everyday Patriots in there. 
But they also showed Kyle in that ad. And if I was Kyle Rittenhouse, I'd nail his ass for that. Legal experts, however, told the Daily Caller that winning defamation lawsuits would prove difficult for Rittenhouse. In defamation cases, different standards apply whether you are considered to be a public or private figure, Zach Smith, a legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation. If you're considered to be a public figure, you have to show that the media outlet or an individual making or repeating the factual statement about you did so with actual malice or reckless disregard. That actual malice standard is very difficult to overcome. Meanwhile, the foundation of the possible defamation claim that Rittenhouse was falsely painted as a white supremacist when he is not would be nearly impossible to prove in court because the phrase does not have an objective definition. What? The quote, (laughs) wow. Quote, the argument would be no one even knows what that means anymore because it's so ridiculous. So it wouldn't be an objective, provable statement of fact in any way, so it would be a projected opinion. First, First Amendment lawyer Lee Colin Banlow explained, defamation only applies to false factual statements. Someone can't be sued for making, making stating their, an opinion, their opinion about somebody. And that is where the article ends. Okay, so I guess they're saying that it would be harder for Kyle to prove that these entities, quote-unquote, because they're just saying, NBC is just saying, CNN is just saying, well, he's a white supremacist. Now, I don't know how that would be so hard to prove. I mean, you would have to go into Kyle's history, and if there's no actual proof that would tie him to some kind of a white supremacist group or that he was, you know, out there leading secret KKK meetings or something like that, it seems to me like he could still hold them accountable for that because this will damage Kyle forever. This will hurt him when he's trying to get a job. Uh, you know, going to a university, we find out, is already doing, it's, it's doing damage because people won't leave him alone. Even though it was ruled in a court of law, you're not guilty, it was in self-defense. He's still paying the price as if he was in some ways convicted, served time, got out for an actual crime he committed. That's not fair to him. And in my opinion, the media is very much a responsible party in all of this happening to Kyle because it causes what? A view, a viewership, an opinion for viewers of, you know, whatever media entity that these Democrats and these leftists are consuming, okay? They're using this media to form an opinion. People like Joy Reid, she's dangerous, right? She's a racist. Uh, I I don't know how that would be hard to prove, you know, if you just want to take her as as an example. I mean, so much of what these people say is actually on tape. It's on video. You can see it. You can go back and watch it on YouTube. I don't know. I hope he at least tries and doesn't let this go. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network fans. These people have to be held accountable at some point. There used to be a thing called real journalism. Not anymore. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.